I'm here this morning at St. Martin de Porres in Mosley, which is a school that's caught our attention because they've gone absolutely gardening crazy. Behind me here, you can see the fantastic garden that the kids have actually put together. And it is just so full of life. I can't wait to share this with you guys. It's just amazing that something as cool as this is going on in the middle of Birmingham. I mean the middle of Birmingham. We're right in the inner city here. And this garden is just so incredibly full of life. Come on, let's go and take a look around. It took me ages to work out what this building here is, this little greenhouse. They've converted the old bike shelter into a greenhouse. How cool is that? This whole project is just amazing. I spend so much of my day in a polytunnel surrounded by the smell of growing, the humidity, and I'm actually in the greenhouse that's been converted from a bike shelter and you can just tell this has been constructed with love the way it's been repurposed and you can see there is so much love in this garden so much energy so much growth i love it here this is fantastic welcome to saint martin de Porres school allotment garden so we started on this journey last year last easter um with a letter going out asking if a parent could help build a window box, a raised bed. And we've actually ended up with 100 metres of raised bed, which is incredible. And an amazing 25 square metre greenhouse. The project started because we wanted a space really just to help some of our children who struggle to be in class full time. But for all children really, that we had an area that our children could do some planting it's now developed to a point whereby this is going to be a massive part of our curriculum. So we've knitted it in with lots of our science, but a huge amount of PHSE work, a lot of nurture. Since lockdown, some of our children have been back. We've spent a lot of time out here. They've done lots of sowing, lots of planting. They have raided the strawberry bed. <laughs> they have all discovered they actually like peas and they're forever wandering around, grazing. They know what jobs need to be done. They come over and they're just incredible. They absolutely love it. For us, it's gonna be a big part of our welcoming back to school in September, making sure that our children are ready in their minds, that their mental health is so important to yeah. us, that they're ready for learning. Can I just ask, have you noticed that being around the plants just in a limited way. Have you seen like an improvement in the mental health of the kids? Some of our children do struggle and some children in particular, this has become their safe space. Wow. They know if they're struggling in the classroom mm. that they are, they can come out here. What you will see when the children come out here is we haven't seen any behavioural issues over here. The wow. children just get on, they just get on and they're just sounds really corny but they're just with nature yeah they just get on from right from our receptions to our year sixes our receptions come over and they want to count the marigolds <laughs> they love watering the plants we've got lots of watering cans they use the water but they will just they're, they're very independent some of them love sweeping the floor we've got <laughs> lots of we've got lots of equipment now for the children and they can just carry on a big thing for us, obviously, we're a school, it's the education, the amount of vocabulary our children have learned in a very short period of time. I was quite alarmed that the children in our reception in our year one, the groups that were with me, so that's not all of those children, but the groups that had been over, not one child knew the name of a wheelbarrow. Wow. They all know what a wheelbarrow is now. Lots of them have used a wheelbarrow. Um, that's amazing. It is. The vocabulary side, English, the, the teamwork, 
it's all so important for our children. And you mentioned to me off camera that you know the, like the PTA have been very supportive as well. Absolutely, and in particular, one of our parents who is a carpenter. Um, he was the man who replied to my letter that day asking for our raised bed window box. He came in the very next day and asked me if he could do it. So a lot of this is his vision and he's incredibly creative. He's an incredibly nice guy, but he also has an amazing allotment. So he, wow. he's really supportive, but our staff have been incredibly supportive. Some of our staff have now taken up gardening themselves. <laughs> our head teacher is growing things at home. Amazing. Watching Gardeners World. Yeah. Um, but our PTA are incredibly supportive. Our parents and families in general are really supportive. One of our little boys in reception has been over. He asked if he could bring Grandad over. He and Grandad now grow things at home together. So we're just, we're excited. We're excited about what it's brought. Yeah. We're excited about the future for our children and the benefits, but really not just for our children, but for us as a community. One of the things I would love to see more of is parents, grandparents being able to bring in things or wanting to support us with growing things from back home, from, um, from the countries that they originate. For me, that would be really exciting. I can't wait to come back and see that. Absolutely, it would <laughs> be great. Thank you so much for allowing me to look around this incredible space. I mean, I'm around plants all the time and I've come here and I've got a big smile on my face. I'm inspired. And so like, thank you for your hard work in doing this amazing oh, no, project. Thank you. And I think that um, our followers and subscribers are gonna be as excited as I am to see the footage of this amazing space. Oh, thank you, Andy. No, thank you. And thank you for your kindness and your donations to us. It's been really incredible. Oh. So thank you. I've just literally loved being here. Oh, brilliant. Guys, sadly, my time at St. Martin de Porres has ended and I'm so sorry to leave this magical place. This is a phenomenal project that we are just so, so privileged to be able to visit and support. Just look how much the kids are loving this space. We are just so, so privileged to be able to visit this and to be able to support it in just a small way. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do the magical subscribe button somewhere here. On all of our social media, we really promote the joy and the well-being benefits that growing your own flavor brings. The kids here are seeing that benefit. Really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. See you later, guys.